Hey guys, all right, today, so what we're talking about is the new WordPress navigation block. If you haven't watched my previous video about what blocks are, you should check that out because I go over in details what those are. But in this video, I'm going to briefly explain the new navigation blocks and they are really, really different than the previous WordPress that you may or may not be familiar with for many, many, many years. The purpose of this tutorial is to give you an introduction to that and give you some tips and pointers on how to use the new navigation and how to build your menus with the new WordPress system. The system I have set up here is a default WordPress install. This is nothing special. This is the basic 2024 theme installed on my server. So there are no additional bells and whistles that are adding any additional features. First thing we're gonna do is go over to the admin console. If you're familiar with WordPress, you know all of the administrative controls are on the left-hand column. One thing you're gonna notice that's different is under appearance, you're not going to see navigation. Up until very recently, this was the way WordPress was. So what we're gonna do is click on editor. And when you click on editor, you're going to be taken in an area that looks just like this. And as you can see, we see navigation, styles, pages, templates, and patterns. Navigation is obviously our menus. Styles, these are the controls of the colors and some of the other design aspects of the website. Pages are the actual pages of the website. Templates, I'm gonna show you just to give you some visual on this. A uh, template is really just a pre-made layout that's defined for different types of content. For example, a 404 page. This is a page when someone comes to your website and there's a, it doesn't have a link, they go to a bad link this is the page and you can style and design that here. This is not the purpose of this tutorial. Just wanted to show you what a template was. And then we have patterns and patterns are very unique and that they're basically pre-made design elements and components that you can just drop into your website and then change an image, change some text around, but have these already pre-made really nice layouts and styles that can be really effective in rapid website design you know, if you wanna add something to your website or make a really fancy blog post or homepage, these can really speed up the design and development process. Now on to navigation. So what I'm gonna do is click on navigation. And as you can see, I have one navigation menu and it's called primary navigation. This is the same navigation you see on the website if we go here. Now, if we go over and hover over any one of these items, you can see that you have options to move them around. We can also rename, duplicate, or delete. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna duplicate this just to make a backup copy. I always recommend making a duplicate so that you have a backup in the event you make an error or do something you don't know how to undo it. Now, I'm gonna click on the primary navigation. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead over here and click on right in there. This is completely different than the way we're used to on the old WordPress development methods. Now, of course, different themes and plugins had different ways of editing menus, so it wasn't always exactly the same as you might be familiar with, depending on the tools and the options you were using within WordPress. But again, this is your basic install, and this is the pattern and path of the future of where WordPress is going in the block structure. So as you can see, I can click on any one of these links. I can change the label, I can change the URL, I can add other attributes and information to them. I can also go over here and I can move these menu items back and forth simply by moving, uh, clicking these arrows. I can add a link directly and I can even add a submenu directly. There's some other options as well as bold, etc. I'm not gonna go over all the other options over here with except duplicate and copy, which can come in very, really handy. And then of course, delete if you wanna get rid of something. And as you can see, there's also keyboard shortcuts next to some of these commands, which is another thing that WordPress has really enhanced on is keyboard shortcuts. And I will be covering many more tutorials on that because it's quite comprehensive of what you can do just from the keyboard. Now, one thing I always recommend when you're working on the menu, you'll see this little staggered list view. You always wanna click on this because this will show you 
the actual hierarchy of the menu and it's very simple to see over here and it really helps visualize what's happening and at the same time on the on the right hand side you'll notice there's an option that says navigation and there's nothing clickable there but if you go to block you will see that these menu items are available here too and you can you can modify them in different ways what we're most concerned about is this plus sign because this is where we're going to add or remove additional menu items and information what I'm going to do is click on that and you'll be presented with what are called blocks again I cover this in another tutorial you can you can use one of these options or you can click browse all but for the sake of this tutorial we're going to keep it very simple now let's say that I have the menu exactly how I want it and I'm happy with what it's like but I want a button I want a quote button I want something very simple so I simply click quote and I'm going to write quote on the menu and as you can see now I have options to actually adjust this 25 50 75 100 you're going to want to go with 100% on this standard setting just of the way the nature of the button sits here now I'm going to go to styles which you'll see are set up this way so we have settings and then styles click on that I'm going to make this button a light green color with black text and we're going to go a medium size on the text we're going to keep that just how it is now if I wanted to I could add padding and I could do different things to this menu but I don't really want to change it too much I want to keep it pretty much as it was do I want a border maybe I want a border on the button why not and then of course radius just to make it just for good measure I usually go about seven or eight on the radius just because otherwise it starts to look a little bit funny now I'm going to go ahead and hit save and normally you're going to hit save twice almost always when you're saving in this new WordPress format now I had to make a little adjustment here I went over to pages in the header and I need to change the actual primary menu because it was defaulting to the copy of the menu so I'm going to hit save once I've done that I'm going to jump back to the home page of the website and as you can see my button is now there but of course nothing happens when you click on it because I didn't actually add a link so let's go ahead and go back and I'm gonna go right in directly into that template and I'm gonna click right on it and I'm gonna click on it one more time and you want to be really gentle when you click on these links because it's really easy to overclick or click too much and basically find yourself lost I'm gonna click on the button now I obviously want to make a link so what I'm gonna do see if I have a page here I'm gonna link this to my new page which is a, another page I already have on the website now this could be an external link this could be any link that you want I'm gonna hit save I'm gonna refresh the page now when I go to this link and I click on it it's gonna take me to my new page now you also notice that the same menu that's being used in the header is also being duplicated down here you see this this was automatically added to the menu so any menu that you're reusing throughout the website in any way for example you could have a privacy specific section menu that anytime you make an update to any of the links it will show up on all the other links anywhere on the site where that navigation is used it's a very handy and beautiful feature that allows you not to have to do duplicate work all the time and the method is referred to as dry which is don't repeat yourself if you don't have to in development you never want to have to repeat yourself all right guys well that's a basic introduction into the new WordPress menu system I hope this gave you a little bit of insight again I'm gonna be covering some very more in-depth tutorials on this and getting into some advanced plugins that are really really incredible that work with the new WordPress block system uh, and build right on top of it so it's not um, utilizing additional re resources and causing page weight and load time problems and all that you get lightning fast speed with rapid beautiful expansion of the design uh, just the way you want it with some of the tools I'm going to show you down the road so anyway I hope this was helpful that's the new WordPress navigation in a nutshell many many more possibilities with that such as drop down menus and everything else which I didn't even touch on but I hope that helps Thanks for watching. Happy New Year and have a great day.